guy, it's me, the audible bling, and I'm out to show you. Number three, training. Uh, this is from the Trap to Die story by Van Meh. Throw, throw, throw. You should follow her on QuoteV.com if you want similar stories like this one. Training. Victoria's point of view. That's something you don't do. 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 What? I was going to say I copied Hunger Games, but apparently there's a Hunger Games tag, so this is a crossover. This is the worst crossover I've ever seen in my entire life. They, they use nothing from any stretch of the imagination intelligently. Like, oh my god, it's so entertaining. Great, I'm in the games. What's funny is that the grammar's not even bad enough to be so bad it's good. It's just trying, and it's failing so hard. It's just being slammed hardcore. Grain him in the games. A few hours have passed since our meet with the boys. I have to say that Nile guy was hot. Now it was time to train. Yeah, today was a great day. Not. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so edgy and sarcastic. I practically dragged the rest of us girls to the training arena. We had to do this, so just suck it up. That's my motto for life now. Wow, she's so dark and cool. There are so many stations, archery, sword fighting, knife throwing, sword fighting, what the? Climbing, hunting, building, shelter, and just plain old fighting. Plain old fighting, like airplane old fighting. Flighting. See, I made a pun on accident today. I ran towards archery, taking all three of them with me. Check this out, archery is such a useful skill that is very difficult to learn in a small period and not necessarily as efficient as other things such as hunting and building shelter. We're gonna stick together, okay? They all nodded as we reached the station. A lady was giving us a big plastic smile as we stood waiting for her to talk. Hi, I'm Bessie Tricky. She looked so happy it almost seemed fake. <laughs> She's a robot then. I am the one to come if you ever need any. Okay, I can't do that, I'm too tired. I am the one to come to if you ever need anything, and I mean anything. We all smiled as Annabelle gave her a confused look. Okay, thank you. Oh, no, she asked. Okay, thank you, Jenna sweetly said. Okay, Archie, go ahead, she exclaimed. I hated her. She was too perky for my liking. I'm so dark. she It's like she wasn't even realizing that we were all going to die because we're so dark. What's wrong with her? I went for the bow aiming at the target. Just as I was about to take my shot, Aria interrupted me. Stop! You're holding it backwards! I glared at the bow. Okay, so you're not my weapon. What? What? You were holding it back- WHAT?! You were holding the bow backwards?! How do you even do that?! That means you have to stretch the string out in front of you and point the arrow at you! How retarded do you have to be? Oh, God. I spun it around and aimed. I missed. Okay, that's just my first try. I can do this. Missed. Frustrated, I put one last time. I tried one last time. Put my best into it. I missed. I threw it on the ground. That thing is not for me. The girls fell on the floor laughing as I realized how stupid I must have looked. Must have looked. God, I'm getting more done as this progresses. It's 7 o'clock at night, and I can't handle this. It's past my bedtime by three whole gosh darn hours. I saw Naya glancing at me from the distance. Now he must think I am an idiot. Well, it is true. Aaron's Aria's POV. Okay, my turn. Yay! I stepped onto the platform. I held the bow in my hands. It felt right. Squinting at the target. No way. I aimed right above the center. I pulled it back as far as I could and let go. My eyes were sealed as I slowly opened them. Again, mutually exclusive, can't do both of them at the same time. All my friends wide-eyed and looked at me. I stared at the target. There was my arrow, right in the middle. Of course, of course, you overpowered piece of crap, of course. Of course the main character of the story is a freaking Mary Sue. Of course it is. I'm alone in my house. This is my job. Ah! <sighs> Chapter four, a uh, really crappy picture of a, of a young woman, like like thirteen. Annabelle's point of view. What did I just witness? 
Abby could shoot, Victoria couldn't. Maybe we should all find our strength. Would I even have one? We tried archery for me and Jenna. She got close for me, well, just now. We, before we can move on, Effie had an announcement. Tribute, so we have yet another. Everybody meet Crystal. That doesn't make sense. Why would they be at different times? I guess she looked so confident, so intimidating. I could see her taking us all on, but she was small. She was young. Maybe she was just a helpless little girl. She wouldn't help us in any way. Also, aren't One Direction adults by this point? Unless we become allies, the idea snaked up to my mind. The perfect of resolution. We resumed back into training, throwing knives was next. I was definitely going to fail. Plus, I had to go first. Why? I don't know. Let's just hope for the best. I stepped on the platform. Into the platform. She stepped into the platform is what she did. Gripping a knife in my hand. Something brushed my arm. I saw Victoria standing next to me. She swiftly snatched a blade from my grip and lunged it at the dummy. Why didn't I first? Well, what just happened? I was shocked. Was that Victoria? I have hidden talents. I got hidden talents. She grinned. <laughs> I can't do anything right. I don't. I can't do anything right. You're right. You're right. Kill yourself now and spare us the trouble. Also, kill Victoria too because she's kind of a dick. Jenna's POV. Who are these people? How do they become super extreme fighters? I wasn't good at anything yet. Annabelle was surely going to find something, but I was a clumsy freak. Maybe not as clumsy as Aria, but still clumsy. They couldn't really expect me to achieve something. Annabelle was definitely determined. We tried everything. The last thing left was climbing, which I failed at. Annabelle took a shot. I love how your sentences are like five freaking words long. Really complicated, thanks. She stared at the tree in front of her. Just a small amount of twigs and branches sticking out of it. That's not even a sentence, that's a clause. She Then she just jumped and grabbed onto the stump of the tree. She was actually doing it. She was making good her way up and something snapped, but she didn't react. She just kept going. Great. Everyone is a town except me. She just climbed a tree? That's what she do? Crystal's POV. I am 15. Younger than anyone here. All the girls were 19. The rest of the boys were older. See what I freaking said to you? Also, those are not 19-year-old girls. Those are 13-year-old girls. Now they expect me to fight against all of them? Well, I guess I will. I know I look like some little girl. I can act like a little girl, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not just some little princess. I'm here to fight, and I will fight. I want to live no matter what it takes. <sighs> Crystal is terrifying. Meeting my Antichrist superstar? Oh my god! Oh my god, are you serious? Yes! I need to read that one right now, so I'm gonna end this one early. It's eight minutes in. Ugh, not even enough for a good size P to have on the toilet. That joke was gonna go nowhere the minute I started saying it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go, uh, you wanna know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. One night he goes off crazier than usual. La 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 la. I will find you.